Hello, hello! So, I figured I can do something different and play a another game. This time, we're doing Detroit Become Human. And, again, thank you for watching this episode. I am Lover of Ladies, and let's get started. Oh, back? That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. Mm, oh my god, thank you. I don't I don't know what I should feel right now, but thank you for the love. Anyways, I previously beat the game, but since it's been a while since I've actually played this one, I'm going to start again as well, so let's give it another round. Yep, I am ready, and let's go. Okay. Alright, I can tell he's good with his hands. Giggity. Anyways. Oh shit. Alright, so looking slick. Hair on point, outfits on point, that blue looks really good. Oh my goodness. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You why aren't you sending a real person? No one that here! Ew, how rude! Excuse me, stop being rude. At least I'm helping. Damn. So disgusting. Alright, what am I looking at here? Okay. Alright. Nice little family. Had a nice welcome, welcoming gift from mom. Cool. Let's save the fish. Fish lives matter, you know? Hey, there you go. Alright, let's go. This place is a mess, but let's see exactly what I'm dealing with. Ew! Why is everyone hating on this android? Like, calm down. Alright, what am I looking at here? Find Captain Allen. Is that the guy that's... yeah. That's him, basically. Uh, language. Watch your profanity. Thank you. Alright. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing and everything moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Got you. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I yes. Need to determine the best approach. So you could be try and be more personal, like. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. I'll take care of it. Okay, that's cool. Thank you for helping. Alright, so let's uh, do this. Let's do this. Okay. Alright, so I already know what kind of gun it is, and the bullets. Wow. Sweet. Alright, so I assume the android knew where the weapon was. Uh huh. Got it. 
Alright. So, the android got mad and took the gun, obviously. That's cool. So, in this case, what else can I find? Because I just don't want to go into the situation all guns and glory because, surprise surprise, the android has the daughter. So, I'm trying to at least try and save her. Maybe the android too. Let me see here. What's this? Ah, okay. What's this? Man, this is sad, man. I can tell they were so close. Alright, so Daniel's his name. She didn't hear any gunshots. He was able to take her in. Uh, what else can I... What's this? Okay. So let's take a look. With let's take a look over there. Ah, Dan, calm down, bro. Like, okay, let me see what happened. I need to find out exactly what's going on. So. Yeah, yeah. They're preparing, I guess. I know. Let me just take a look here. Okay, I see... Pot is overflowing, so obviously this happened during dinner time. Right? Yep. So, they are about to have dinner, that's how Daniel was able to get the gun without anyone knowing or stopping. Okay, uh. let me see here. Ah, damn. Okay, so he was the first one to be there, and yet he got shot right in the heart. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so the cop was already there. Daniel was with the girl when she was he was dragging her to the balcony. He shot. Uh-huh. Okay. So, cop shot Daniel. Ah, uh, and she witnessed the whole thing, too. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> okay. Yo, this is like CSI Miami meets Criminal Minds. What's this? You're not gonna do anything. Come down. Is this the dad? S cut it out, bro. It's not that serious. Not every android's like that. That's the dad. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. 
Now, let's see what happened to the dad. What's he doing? Okay... So he saw the android, he got shot... And... Yeah, he got him. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at those two pieces right over there, see exactly what's happening. Okay, this shoe. Got it. Uh, I hope not. Possible, but I really hope not. What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Each shot there. Okay, so Dan is right there. Let me just take a look here for a second. Ew, that's nasty. Blech. Okay. Okay. All right, that's cool. That's the model, I guess. Um 62%. Um that's a good probability for me to save this, so should I go through? I'm gonna do this one again. There has to be something that I missed. Has to be. Ooh, what's that? The tab. Oh, okay. Got it. Now, in that case, what was he looking? What was he looking at? Oh, oh that's why Daniel killed him. He was scared of being replaced, not being able to be with the girl anymore. So he killed the dad. Alright, so with 70% chance of me fixing the situation, that's a good amount of, of odds for me, so I'm going in. Wish me luck, you guys. Nope. Bro, I'm an Andrew like you. Why are you shooting at me? Don't come any closer or I'll jump! She's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. No, she didn't, man. I thought she loved me. She does. She does. No, honey. She's just like all the other humans. No, come on. No. She loves you. I saw that YouTube video. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Mm-hmm. I thought I mattered. You do. You but do. Toy. No, you're not. You throw away when you're done she with loves you. you. Come on, man. <sighs> okay, Listen, let's see this works. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. Okay, no, you shouldn't have said that way, but okay. Not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? Yeah, I know. But I was nothing to them. Come on, man. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. 
Go. There you go. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. Come on, man, please. Please. And I want a car. Okay. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. No, we're not. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go. And I promise you won't be hurt. Yeah, come on, let her go. Come on, come on, let her go. Please, let her die. go. You're not gonna die, bro. Trust me. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Yeah, we happen to you. you have exactly. We gotta talk. Come on, let her go. Okay. Alright? I trust you. Okay, that's all I asked. Thank you so much. Oh, thank God. Okay, come on. Don't worry. No! 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 Why? Oh my god! You lied to me, Connor. I was not aware that they were gonna shoot you! I'm sorry, I... Wow. That's... that's crazy. Oh, damn, they sure enough shot him! He just... <sighs> damn, man. Oh my... Oh my god. That was so intense. Honestly, I was not expecting them to shoot Daniel. I mean, I get it. He was scared. And yes, he, it's messed up that he killed the dad. But, I don't know. Why can't... I? He lowered down his weapon. Why did he just kill him like that like I don't know anyway the same right, developers who created Heavy Rain also created Detroit Became Human so that's another reason why I wanted to play this game as well because of the fact that this game is pretty interesting with the choices you make and it definitely has a butterfly effect so whatever you choose does affect the game just like heavy rain as well so i definitely love i love the story so far i mean connor android negotiator but he's just simply doing his job since he's programmed to do so, you basically get to know a couple of characters of this game, see their point of view, and then whatever choices you make with the characters, they affect their plotline as well. So, yeah. Snipers, Shot Deviant. Honestly, I remember the first time when I played this game, I had a totally different ending to this specific situation. I forgot what happened, but Daniel ended up throwing himself and the girl off of the building, and somehow I've managed to not only grab her, but threw her on the building as me and Daniel just plummeted to our death. So I'm pretty happy this time around I get to live. But it still sucks that Daniel died. But anyways, let's continue and see what happens next. Alright. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And diners. Anne handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good 
can I help you? Honey, it looks amazing. Wow! I could see why Daniel would think that he's a toy. Look at this. They're being paraded around like action figures, mostly. Almost like they're not even... Absolutely all the work human. I mean, obviously they're not human, but... They look and act like one, so... I don't know, I just think this is so impersonal. If we ever live in a world where robots like this do exist, I would consider them equal, and I would treat them equal. There it Whoa. Is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order, okay? It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. These nuts. Kara. Oh, okay. My name is Kara. Okay. Again with the piano! It's like... That's the signature trait of Quantum Dream, the piano music. I gotta admit though, the graphics are pretty nice. Beautiful city too. I just love the layout. <laughs> A random arm. <laughs> I don't know, I just... If I were to get my own robot assistant, I would definitely treat them like equal, like I said. I wouldn't look at them differently. It seems like this place is pretty clean though, for a city. Wow. Docking stations for the androids? I lost my job because of an android? Really? Cut it out. Go to indeed.com and get a job, bro. Not that hard. Not that hard to find. My favorite date ever. I love the blue. If I could find a jacket like that, I would wear it in a heartbeat. Would you like to go home now? Yes, yes, I think that's enough. <laughs> Me after socializing for five minutes. I love autumn, that's like the best season ever. Forget winter with its 30 inches of snow. Forget spring with its pollen. Summer, don't talk to me about summer, I hate the heat. Fall is where it's at. Hey, water. I like the crossway too. Okay, so press R2 to use GPS. Retrieve order number 847 at Bally Paints. Alright, let's go. Uh, littering? In front of my salad? Anyways. Ayy... That's dope. I like that. Anyways. Alright. 
work almost at the paint shop at this point. What are you talking about? It was supposed to serve man, but it is becoming our new master. Anyways, I'm walking away from this. I'm done. I'm about to get a headache. I hate that. Like, seriously, just say you hate yourself and that you're jealous and how you feel insignificant now that an android can do just as much as you can, if not maybe better, but whatever. At least the controls are a lot easier to manage compared to Heavy Rain. Oh, okay, so quiet. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Oh, I get to pay with my mind? Hell yeah. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Yo, just imagine if we're able to pay with our minds. Oh my goodness. I would be so reckless with my money. I would be so reckless with my money. Alright, let's go. All right, use R1 to switch the camera angle. Let's go. All right, so I got my paint. Now I'm going home. Let's go. Let's get it. So where am I going? Take bus home. Uh, okay, let's take the bus. Right? Yeah, let's take the bus. They got a docking station as if these androids are literally iPhones to be placed on. That's funny. Okay, whatever. Uh huh. Whatever. Anyways, let me go home in peace. Whatever. Bye. I like how they're saying that the androids are taking their jobs. Doesn't that sound familiar when a couple years back people were saying that immigrants were taking the jobs? Like, history repeats themselves so much. The only difference is the escape goat. Alright, so this is the end of Detroit Become Humans episode. Thank you for watching. This is Lover Ladies. And tune in next time for another episode of my witty talk of the games that I pick out to play. I gotta cut that down somehow. But anyways, thank you for watching and take care.